The Chattanooga Beer and Wrecker Board has fined Chattanooga mayoral candidate Dr. Eleonora Woods following testimony about an incident from last year at a business with which she is affiliated. A man hosted a party at the Alton Park Development Center without a proper permit, and that led to some other violations. Our Mary Frances Hoots is live with details on the citation that Woods says she didn't know about until a few days ago. Mary Frances? Well, David, we actually just wrapped up a one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Eleanor Woods in between the last time you took me, and she said that that's right. She had no idea about this citation until last week on February 12th, so she is pretty much brand new to her. So, But she says her business does regularly hold events that require the party promoter to receive permits. She never had an issue in the past. Well, in this case, Mr. Liddell Carruthers was the one holding the event, and he did not get a permit. And so Dr. Woods is the executive director here at this business, and so that's how she's tied into it. However, they did show the fire safety inspection plan, and that said that no more than 100 people can be there. Well, an officer was wearing his body camera, and it showed that 226 people were leaving, as well as open alcohol containers and a blocked exit, which is also an additional violation of not having the permit. Officers made entry. Um, they did observe alcohol in the building. Um, there was well over 50 people. It was after midnight. City records show Liddell Carruthers did turn in his application for an event permit for this February 2020 party. But Chattanooga police officer John Collins says it was never finalized. We stress several times, you do not have a permit until you pick it up. If you do not have your permit on you at the scene, you do not have a permit. Carruthers could not show the permit when police arrived. The party was hosted on Alton Park Development's property owned by George Calhoun. The executive director with this nonprofit is Chattanooga mayoral candidate Dr. Eleonora Woods. Police say Calhoun and Woods were there that night, February 16, 2020. Police also say alcohol was on the property that night. We were just really thrown off uh, for them to say there was any beer in there because we were doing routine uh, walk arounds. Dr. Woods claims she did not see any alcohol and Carruthers says he told people not to bring any to the 21st birthday party and fundraiser for a college student. They can only bring in, you know, like uh, non-alcoholic beverages like soda and water, stuff like that. But According to Officer Collins, Carruthers intended for there to be alcohol at the event. He did apply for a permit that would allow alcohol. He did get a notarized form saying that they would not sell any alcohol. Officers' body cameras show alcohol on the property. Where was the, where was the beer being sold at? <laughs> no, we're selling. Just people brought their own beer. No, people brought their own. Carruthers was able to show the fire inspection form, which says no more than a hundred people were allowed in the space. Body camera footage shows twice that number of people walking out. Now, the board un unanimously voted to fine both Liddell Carruthers and the Alton Park Development Center each $50. Now, the Development Center still can host events as long as they don't get a citation within a year. Dr. Woods apologized to the board, said it was a lesson learned, won't happen again. It was a fundraiser that only had good intentions, and all the money ended up going to the person that it was helped for. Live in Chattanooga, Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.